Hello, this is day 57 of Bible in One Year. Our Bible text for today, Numbers 15 to 16, and then Mark chapter 6, verses 1 to 29. Alright, so it's February 26, and it's almost midnight, but I have to do this, you know, just to keep our daily Bible reading habit, alright? And of course, you know, to show our faithfulness to the Word. Alright, so let's begin with the prayer. Lord, thank you for another day that you've given us. Um, thank you, Lord, for uh, guiding us, for all the blessings, for your wisdom. And Lord, um, we pray that you would enlighten us as we read your word and that we would be able to apply these learnings in our everyday lives. And Lord, we also ask for forgiveness. Um, please forgive us for our sins, our shortcomings, our mistakes. And uh, we pray that you would help us to overcome temptations and to avoid committing mistakes, committing sins. Uh, help us to live in accordance with uh, your will and uh, help us to be obedient to your word, Lord, to your commandments for us. And Lord, we pray for a yeah, continued uh, blessing, continued provision of our needs, strength, rest. Um, we ask, Lord, that you would continue to be with us every day of our lives. And we pray for uh, our pastors, church workers, church members, everyone who are uh, who have a portion in the ministry, the church, sorry, uh, the Bible students, Bible school teachers, and of course the missionaries, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, chapters, oh, sorry, Numbers chapter 15. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come into the land of your habitations, which I give unto you, and will make an offering by fire unto the Lord, a burnt offering, or a sacrifice in performing a vow, or in a freewill offering, or in your solemn feast, to make a sweet savour unto the Lord, of the herd or of the flock. Then shall he that offereth his offering unto the Lord bring a meat offering of a tenth deal of flour, mingled with a fourth part of an in of oil. And the fourth part of an in of wine for a drink offering shall thou prepare with a burnt offering or sacrifice for one lamb. Or for a ram thou shalt prepare, shalt prepare for a meat offering two tenth deals of flour mingled with a third part of an hin of oil. And for a drink offering thou shalt offer the third part of an hin of wine for a sweet savour unto the Lord. And when thou preparest a bullock for a burnt offering, or for a sacrifice in performing a vow, or peace offerings unto the Lord, then shall he bring with a bullock a meat offering of three tenth deals of flour, mingled with half an hin of oil. And thou shalt bring for a drink offering half an hin of wine, for an offering made by fire of a sweet savour unto the Lord. Thus shall it be done for one bullock, or for one rum, or for a lamb, or a kid, according to the number that ye shall prepare, so shall ye do to every one according to their number. All that are born of the country shall do these things after this manner, in offering an offering made by fire, of a sweet savour unto the Lord. And if a stranger sojourn with you, or whosoever be among you in your generations, and will offer an offering made by fire of a sweet savour unto the Lord, as ye do, so ye so he shall do. One ordinance shall be both for you of the congregation, and also for the stranger that sojourneth with you. An ordinance forever in your generations, as ye are, so shall the stranger be before the Lord. One law and one manner shall be for you and for the stranger that sojourneth with you. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land, whither I bring you, then it shall be that when ye shall, that when ye eat of the bread of the land, ye shall offer up an heave offering unto the Lord. Ye shall offer up a cake of the first of your dough, for an heave offering, as ye do the heave offering of the threshing floor, so shall ye heave it. Of the first of your dough ye shall give unto the Lord, and heave offering in your generations. 
And if ye have erred and not observed all these commandments which the Lord has spoken unto Moses, even all that the Lord had commanded you by the hand of Moses, from the day that the Lord commanded Moses, and henceforward among your generations, then it shall be, if aught be committed by ignorance without the knowledge of the congregation, that all the congregation shall offer one young bullock for a burnt offering, for a sweet savour unto the Lord with his meat offering, and his drink offering according to the number, to the, to the manner, and one kid of the goats for a sin offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for all the congregation of the children of Israel, and they shall be forgiven them, for it is ignorance, and they shall bring their offering, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord, and their sin offering before the Lord for their ignorance. And it shall be forgiven all the congregation of the children of Israel, and the stranger that sojourneth among them, seeing all the people were in ignorance. And if any soul sin through ignorance, then he shall bring a she-goat of the first year for a sin offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for the soul that sinneth ignorantly, when he sinneth by ignorance before the Lord, to make an atonement for him, and it shall be forgiven him. He shall have one law for him that sinneth through ignorance, both for him that is born among the children of Israel, and for the stranger that sojourneth among them. But the soul that doeth ought presumptuously, whether he be born in the land or a stranger, the same reproach at the Lord, and that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Because he had despised the word of the Lord and, has bro and had broken his commandment, that soul shall utterly be cut off, his iniquity shall be upon him. And while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath day. And they that found him gathering sticks brought him unto Moses and Aaron, and unto all the congregation. And they put him in the ward, because it was not declared what should be done to him. And the Lord said unto Moses, The man shall surely be put to death, shall be surely put to death. All the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. And all the congregation brought him without a cap, and stoned him with stones, and he died, as the Lord commanded Moses. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make, fr they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue, and it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye used to go a warring, that ye may remember and do all my commandments, and be holy unto, the, unto your God. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord your God. Numbers chapter 16 now Korah, the son of Izar, the son of Gohat, the son of Levi, and Dathan, and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, and On, the son of Pallet, sons of Reuben, took men. And they rose up before Moses with certain of the children of Israel, two hundred and fifty princes of the assembly, famous in the congregation, men of renown. And they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron, and said unto them, You take too much upon you, seeing all the congregation are holy, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Wherefore then lift ye up yourselves above the congregation of the Lord. And when Moses heard it, he fell upon his face, and he spake unto Korah, and unto all his, com unto all his company, saying, Even tomorrow the Lord will show who are his, and who is holy, and will cause him to come near unto him, even him, whom he had chosen will he cause to come near unto him. This do take his censers, Korah and all his company, and put farther in, and put incense in them before the Lord tomorrow. And it shall be that the man whom the Lord doth choose, he shall be holy. You say too much upon you, ye sons of Levi. And Moses said unto Korah, Hear, I pray you, ye sons of Levi. Seemeth it but a small thing unto you that the God of Israel has separated you from the congregation of Israel, to bring you near to himself, to do the service of the tabernacle of the Lord, and to stand before the congregation to minister unto them. And he had brought thee near to him, and all thy brethren, the sons of Levi, with thee, and seek ye the priesthood also, for which cause both thou and all thy company are gathered together against the Lord. 
And what is Aaron that you murmur against him? And Moses sent to call Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, which said, We will not come up. Is it this small thing that thou hast brought us up out of the land that floweth with milk and honey, to kill us in the wilderness, except thou make thyself altogether a prince over us? Moreover, thou hast not brought us into a land that floweth with milk or honey, and honey, or given us inheritance of fields and vineyards. Will thou put out the eyes of these men? We will not come in. Come up, we will not come up. And Moses was very wroth, and said unto the Lord, Respect not thou their offering. I have not taken one as from them, neither have I heard one of them. And Moses said unto Korah, Be thou and all thy company before the Lord, thou and they, and Aaron, to morrow. And take every man his censer, and put incense in them, and bring ye before the Lord every man his censer. Two hundred and fifty censers, thou also, and Aaron, each of you his censer. And they took every man his censer, and put fire in them, and laid the censer on, and stood in the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, with Moses and Aaron. And Korah gathered all the congregation against them unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from among this congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell upon their faces, and said, O God, the God of the spirits of all flesh, shall one man sin, and will thou be wrought with all the congregation? And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the congregation, saying, Get you up from about the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. And Moses rose up, and went unto Dathan, and Abiram, and the elders of Israel followed him. And he spake unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you. From the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest ye be consumed in all their sins. So they got up from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan and Abiram, on every side, and Dathan and Abiram come out, came out, and stood in the door of their tents, and their wives, and their sons, and their little children. And Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that the Lord hath sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of my own mind. If these men die, the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord had not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth, and swallow them up, with all that appertain unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking all these words, that the ground clave asunder that was under them, and the earth opened their mouth and swallowed them up in their houses, and all the men that appertained unto Korah and all their goods, they and all that appertained to them, went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them. And they perished from among the congregation, and all Israel that were round about them fled at the cry of them, for they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. And there came out the fire from the Lord, and consumed the two hundred and fifty men that offered incense. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest, that he take up the censers out of the burning, and scatter thou the fire yonder, for they are hollowed. The censers of these sinners against their own souls, let them make them brood plates for a covering of the altar. For they offered them before the Lord, therefore they are hallowed, and they shall be a sign unto the children of Israel. And Eleazar the priest took the brass and censers wherewith they that were burnt had offered, and they were made broad plates for a covering of the altar, to be a memorial unto the children of Israel, that no stranger, which is not of the seed of Aaron, come near to offer incense before the Lord, that he be not as Korah and as his company. As the Lord said to him by the hand of Moses, But on the morrow all the congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron, saying, Ye have killed the people of the Lord. And it came to pass, when the congregation was gathered against Moses and against Aaron, that they looked toward the tabernacle of the congregation, and behold, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord appeared. And Moses and Aaron came before the tabernacle of the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Get you up from among this congregation, that I may consume them as in a moment. And they fell upon their faces. 
And Moses said unto Aaron, Take a censer, and put fire therein from off the altar, and put on incense, and go quickly unto the congregation, and make an atonement for them. For there is right gone out from the Lord, the plague is begun. And Aaron took as Moses commanded, and ran into the midst of the congregation. And behold, the flag was, bega the flag was begun among the people. And he put on incense, and made an atonement for the people. And he stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stayed. Now they that died in the plague were fourteen thousand and seven hundred, beside them that died about the matter of Korah. And Aaron returned unto Moses unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the plague was stayed. Alright, so those are your numbers, chapters 15 and 16. We now read Mark 6, verses 1 to 29. And he went out from thence, and came into his own country, and his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many, hearing him, were astonished, saying, From whence had this man these things, and what wisdom is this which is given unto him, that even such mighty words, works are wrought by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James, and Joseph, and of Judah, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. And he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk and healed them. And he marveled, and he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went round about the villages teaching, and he called unto him the twelve, and began to send them forth by two and two, and gave them power over unclean spirits, and commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey, save a stuff only, no scrip, no bread, no money in their purse, but he but be shod with sandals, and had put on two coats. And he said unto them, In what place soever ye enter into an house, there abide till ye depart from that place, and whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when you depart from depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. And they went out and preached that men should repent, and they cast out many devils and anointed with oil, many that were sick and healed them. And King Herod heard of him, for his name was spread abroad, and he said, that John the Baptist was risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show forth themselves in him. Others said that it is, it is Elias, and others said that it is a prophet or is one of the prophets. But when Herod heard her off, he said, It is John, whom I beheaded, he is risen from the dead. For Herod himself had sent forth and laid hold upon John, and bound him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her. For John had said unto Herod, It is not lawful for thee to have thy brother's wife. Therefore Herodias had a quarrel against him, and would have killed him, but she could not. For Herod feared John, knowing that he was a just man and unholy, and observed him, and when he heard him, he did many things, and heard him gladly. And when a convenient day was come, that Herod in his birthday made a supper to his lords, high captains and chief estates of Galilee, and when the daughter of the said Herodias came in, and danced, and pleased Herod and them that sat with him. The king said unto the damsel, Ask of me whatsoever thou will, and I will give it thee. And he swear unto her, Whatsoever thou shalt ask of me, I will give it thee, unto the half of my kingdom. And she went forth, and said unto her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the Baptist. And she came in straightway, with haste, unto the king, and asked, saying, I will that thou give me. By and by in a church or the head of John the Baptist. And the king was exceeding sorry, yet for his own sake, and for their sakes which sat with him, he would not reject her. And immediately the king sent an executioner, and commanded his head to be brought. And he went and beheaded him in, in the prison, and brought his head in a charger, and gave, to, to the dam, gave it to the damsel, and the damsel gave it to her mother. And when his disciples heard of it, they came and took up his course and laid it in a tomb. 
All right, so that's our Bible reading for today. Again, Numbers chapter 16, uh, 15 to 16, and then Mark chapter 6, verses 1 to 29. So for the reflection or something to share, um, in Numbers, you know, it's, yeah, I could feel the restoration of Moses and Aaron and the forest. It's very understandable that God is very wrought with the people of Israel. You know, you have this uh, tribe, or people from the group of Korah of the tribe of Levi and again they questioned uh, you know Moses and Aaron and they're thinking you know why is it that you're holding up that position why can't it be given to us so in a way it's again jealousy you know that other Christians are uh, doing better God is blessing them more than you so it wasn't good and God essentially, you know, destroyed those people who were incited by Korah and of course Korah himself and his family and even their possessions were swallowed up in the land by the earth. And then after that, we see another group of people who again questioned uh, the position given to Moses by the Lord. And... Of course, you know, God is once again uh, angry at them. And so Moses uh, told Aaron to, uh, what do you call this? Start, you know, an atonement for the people. And they were plagued. And there were a lot of people who already uh, caught the sickness. And some of them already died from it. And so um, we see Moses and Aaron trying to abuse the Lord and ensure that there would still be uh, people, Israelites, who would uh, come and arrive at the promised land, you know, the land flowing with milk and honey. In a way, it does get, get frustrating because um, you would really, uh, well, if you're a Christian and, you know, been to church, you... Uh, encounter different people you would really see that there are some people who are like that even believers or professed Christians professing Christians that but but again it, it's it's kind of questionable in that sense you know they say they're Christians and yet they they do not have faith uh, they do get jealous of others as if they cannot understand why God would be blessing others more than they are uh, they in a way they are prideful they think that they deserve more they deserve better compared to others which is you know it's not a Christian value it's not a trait that a Christian should possess so you know as Christians Jesus Christ taught us to be humble uh, to be a servant to others to be helpful to share the gospel, to help the needy, and to pray for others, and not to be jealous, but to rejoice in our, you know, in our brother or sister's uh, blessing. Be happy for them, essentially. All right, and then in Mark six again, this is still the gospel. So we see Jesus Christ teaching in the synagogue, and then uh, there's King Herod, who, what do you call this, who uh, had John the Baptist killed for a certain incident, all right, and his thing, and there are people saying that Jesus is uh, Elias or his John the Baptist, and so, you know, there are people, he became famous, a lot of people heard about his name, and there are people who are thinking who is he who's, whose prophet has been, you know, who came back. So things like that. And um, at the beginning of Mark chapter 6, we see him, uh, his authority is being questioned because the people knew him to be the carpen a carpenter, the carpenter's son, son of Mary, uh, brother to Mary's uh, other children. And so they do not believe him to be capable, to be authoritative, and so they, in a way, they're offended. It's as if they feel that, you know, he's mocking them because he's uneducated, probably. They feel that he's not educated because he's a carpenter. 
they judged him essentially, but they shouldn't have done that because you know he's uh the son of God, the son of man. Okay. So um I think I'll stop here for today and again thank you for joining our Bible in one year. This is day fifty seven and again our Bible text. Uh Numbers chapters fifteen to sixteen and Mark chapter six verses one to twenty nine. Alright, um, tomorrow maybe I'll do this early in the day and, you know, not in the evening. Alright, so again, thank you and God bless.